About a week ago, two weeks ago, I made a video about Victor Wimbanyama and how moronic people are making these incorrect comparisons. Check out that video. This is why I don't stay on the internet. This is why I don't have a Twitter. This is why I, I have an Instagram, but I'm not on it that often. This is why, because when you're on, on these things, eventually you're going to hear stupid opinions and stupid views. And literally, I guess if you are a content creator, that gives you unlimited material. But I'm not about to be driven crazy by morons. Victor Wimbanyama, one of my current favorite players, he has great potential. He will. This is going to be his league. It's going to be his league. They need to get uh, Raymond James, get his stinking ass out of it. Um, this will be his league in a few years. But comparisons are just ridiculous. You have people, you know, Shaq talking about he's bowl bowl or, or people with this agenda that don't know basketball. They don't know basketball. So, oh, he's the next LeBron James or, or Kevin Durant because these people don't know basketball. They don't know the history of it. They only know the top four most popular players of a current time. They don't know the sport. And now the latest um, comparison I'm seeing, this might be the most blasphemous of them all. Now, Victor Wimbanyama, obviously he's a giant. He's very versatile. He can do everything at this early stage of his infancy in the National Basketball Association. But people are so hypnotized with man worship and delusional praise or even delusional tearing down of people. So the latest comparison is Wim Ben Yama. He's like Wilt Chamberlain. <sighs> Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> oh God. Wilt Chamberlain. W Wilt Chamberlain. In what way? Wilt Chamberlain averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds in a season. All finger rolls. They had to change the game Literally for Wilt Chamberlain. They had to change the size and length of the lane. They had to outlaw dunking. Because of Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain is Wilt Chamberlain is either number one or number two greatest basketball players ever. Can you people allow Wim Ben Yama to get 20 games into his career? Jesus Christ. He hasn't played 20 games. He hasn't even got to an all-star. He hasn't even gotten to the new year. And he's Will Chamberlain. He's Kevin Garnett. No. He's Victor Wembanyama. He's a good player with incredible potential. Why are people so obsessed with comparisons? I will never understand this. It's like some Twitter shit. When I was a kid in the 90s, I never remember people obsessively comparing people i never remember people being obsessed with who's the goat if i hear the phrase goat one more time oh my god you talk like somebody says somebody comes up with a slang or an acronym or a phrase and then these corny people hear it and they drive it into the ground i'm so tired of hearing the phrase goat oh my god Victor Wimbanyama is nothing like Wilt Chamberlain. Nobody is like Wilt Chamberlain. Nobody is like Michael Jordan. Nobody's like Magic. No one's like Bird. A lot of people's like LeBron James. Oh. People don't know the game. They're just rambling. The greatest comparison and the only comparison you can make for Wimbanyama is Ralph Sampson. But the problem is, most people, like I said, they don't know the history of this game. This is why I don't watch sports shows. This is why I don't watch other people's channels, really. What the hell's wrong with Ticket TV? Why is he all of a sudden on, on Raymond James' sack? 
t- you know, Ticket TV, I think he has a good channel. I think he's a very necessary voice. But a lot of, like, 99% of his uploads is like, it's like, not clickbait, but it's like, he jumps off the deep end. It's like, Kevin Durant, if, if, if the Suns, if Kevin Durant plays a game and Kevin Durant's team loses, his video is immediately, Kevin Durant is trash. But then, if Kevin Durant, the next game, his team wins, Kevin Durant, the best player in the league. And then the next game, they lose again. Oh, Kevin Durant, he needs to retire. And then the next game, Durant drops 40. Oh, Kevin Durant, put some respect on his name. Oh, God. That's Ticket TV. <laughs> Literally, it's a minute-to-minute judgment. It's nothing but anxiety. I guess you could say it's clickbait in a sense. It's just it's, it's nonsense. That's not how you judge anything in life. Nothing in life is a moment-to-moment judgment. It's like the stupidity with football. People talking about uh, football, the NFL is a week-to-week league. No, it's not. Look at the Dallas Cowboys. They, they crushed the Giants. Oh, my God, the Cowboys look like they're ready for the Super Bowl. Then they go and lose to the Cardinals. Oh, my God, Dak Prescott is trash. You cannot judge something week to week or game to game. No. Give things a month. Give things three months. Give things a year. No, no, these people, literally every 20 minutes, this person's trash. No, this person's great. No, no, this trash. No, 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 he's great. I don't understand this. But back to the point, when Ben Yama is a very good player, he has the most potential of any person in the NBA. He might, when Ben Yama might have the most potential of any athlete in sports, him and Otani. And Otani's already the Japanese Babe Ruth. So, and, and the sweepstakes for him, oh my God, Otani. If, if you're a baseball team, get your get your funds together. You, you got to get him. He He's a once-in-a-lifetime talent. But, um, and so is Wimby and Yama. Yama, Yama, whatever. Wimby. I don't really want to call a man Wimby. But uh, as I record this, Wimby and Yama and Chet Holmgren about to uh, go... Uh, one on one, basically on uh you know Thunder vs Spurs on uh, TNT. I gotta record that game. I gotta watch that game. This 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 is gonna be historic footage, and I gotta put my bets in. But um the 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 comparisons are just so ridiculous. This is why I don't debate people with sports. This is why I don't ask people for their opinions. Because they say crazy things like this with no perspective. They they have no knowledge. They you know there's a consequence to just saying things. And sometimes the consequence is harsh correction. And with that said, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out my other content. Donate to the channel. The, uh, the cash app is in the description of this video. And until the next time, that is it.